thanks for joining us for the IDG Corporate Update. I'm Yolanda Lohid, and joining me today is Daryl Rebeck, Executive Chairman of Liberty Defense. Daryl, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Liberty Defense is a leading technology provider of next generation detection solutions for concealed weapons and threats. And wow, Daryl, are these solutions ever needed? 241 mass shootings in the US already this year alone. Mind blowing. How are your solutions different than what is available on the market right now? Um, and, and just to elaborate on that, the DHS actually yesterday came out with an advanced uh, bulletin on threats to um, multiple, multiple countries, but obviously the US schools, uh, government buildings, religious centers, et cetera. So it's never been more uh, frightening in, in terms of what's happening. And, and where we differ is we look for metals and non-metallic. So if you look at current technology out there right now, um, it'll obviously catch your weapons, um, but it's missing the plastic pipe bombs, the explosions, um, you know, liquid explosives and all these sort of things. And 3D printed guns, which is a huge issue in the US, um, you can basically print an AK uh, in your basement in about seven hours. So this is something where the threats are getting bigger and the technology is lagging behind because the people who want to do damage are smarter and know how to beat the systems. So right. since our last update, you announced several trials of your technology in major airports. So where, uh, you know, where is your technology being used right now? So we're just going into production right now and commercialization. So very exciting time uh, for investors. It's an it's one of those great inflection points where you look at everything's being mitigated on the development side. The machine is working. It's perfect. Uh, we're progressing that along the channel now to sell it to customers. So we had beta trials. I think last time we talked. Uh, major airports, religious centers, uh, terminals, schools, universities, et cetera, um, with great success. And if you go on our website, there's a bunch of testimonials on, on those people saying, this is what we need. Uh, we had border guards going up or, um, you know, looking through the vest, they got lanyards on, they don't have to take their keys out and whatever it may be. So it's been a very successful program. It's, now it's time to move into sales. So we are in very active conversations with major sports teams, uh, MLB, NFL, um, uh, major universities, the Olympics, uh, border patrol, major airports, major airlines, um, major factories, major warehouses. So it, it's one of these things where if anywhere you see a metal detector, this is something that goes above and beyond. You can look for even some of these warehouses want to protect things coming in but they also want to protect things going out like theft, which is also a big issue in the world. So um, the applications are essentially endless and the demand we're seeing is, is incredible. And, you know, I've been doing this for about 25 years. I've never seen, you know, a company have so much demand from so many major places that does carry a lot of weight for investments as well, when you can see it being in use and it's with major, major companies. Um, and that does carry a lot of credence. So it, it's a really incredibly exciting time where the demand is, is, is unbelievable. Um, and we're just about to get to the point where we're going to meet that demand. That is incredible. Right. Because your technology, it's a walk through. You walk through it, correct? And it doesn't correct. just detect weapons. It detects whatever you train it to detect, correct? Yeah, anything. So even um, and we can we have an AI system that we tell it what to look for. So in the prisons, for example, you actually want to find the cell phone because that's one of the biggest contrabands in prison because people can run the business there. Um, so we tell the system to look for that. In other systems, ignore the keys, ignore the cell phones. We're looking for uh, plastic explosives. Uh, we're looking for plastic weapons. We're looking for metal weapons. Basically, anything on your body that shouldn't be there, we'll see it. The AI will then look at it and say, is that something to alarm on or not? If it is, it alarms. The person gets patted down, et cetera. So it, it's really sort of endless, too, in the sense of what you can look for. We have uh, working with the major South American government, they want to look for drugs. Uh, casinos want to look for poker chips because there's a lot of 3D printed poker chips right now. Um, so wow. it's, it's not just weapons, it's anything you're looking for because it basically, you know, finds anything on your body that you're trying to hide. That is incredible. Wow, what an exciting time. Yeah, your customer list is obviously very, very extensive. Before we wrap up, is there anything else that viewers should know what's coming up in the near term? Um, I just think on a, on a macro basis, um, and I've been doing this, you can look at my bio, I'm including a senior VP at Canaccord for 15 years on the investment side. So I looked for companies like this for years where, uh, and what did we look for with our clients? It was, is there a story that has unlimited potential? Um, is there a story 
that has huge breadth of market penetration because we all know that's that's the hardest thing as you're rolling out in a startup. Um, does is it easy to understand, which it is here, and is it at a point where, like we are, the inflection point becomes very interesting, where you have a tiny market cap like ours, um, which shouldn't be here. Um, we're not happy with that, but that will change. Um, and you look at our competitors, and they're all. 10 to 100 times more valuations, um, which we're going to rapidly change once we get into revenues. But, you know, to find a company that has this much potential, no competition, um, our competition for non-metals is three times the cost and it's very big and cumbersome. Um, so if we, you know, if our cost was different, it's fine, but we're the same price as some of our competitors out there. Um, and something that's just about to go into commercialization, the company is very, very, you know, unknown right now, and that's being by design. Um, but very soon, we have major news stations coming. Next week, we have, you know, 30 clients coming, and they're all name brands. And something where sales are going to start, and the exposure is going to come. Those are the things we used to look for, where I'm getting a value here, and a great uh, valuation on something that could really become a huge company and change the world. That's a really exciting time for the company. Um, how can people get in touch if they want more information? Our website's pretty good. Um, we're always around. There's contact there. But our website has a lot of testimonials. Uh, we have had a lot of press, ABC. Uh, we've been on The Tonight Show. We've been on CNBC. So, you know, the exposure's great. There's a lot on there. Anything extra you need, we're always around. Sounds good. Well, thank you again so much for this update. We look forward to continuing to follow this story. Okay, and thank you, Beth. Thanks, Daryl. Bye for now. Yeah,